you look at Vox, you look at BuzzFeed, you look at Salon, you look at CNN, and they say, your race, your gender, it is your identity. It defines who you are. That's very different from saying, hey, here's my pocketbook to, hey, this is who I am. This yeah. is what, this is the makeup of my soul, and that is entirely a lie simply to pander for votes. That's more off-putting to me. More off-putting to me than saying, I could write a check for a billion dollars, is someone lying about being Injun. Uh, let's nice. get to Elizabeth Warren's top five campaign Ugh. lies. I think this is important. We've done yes. it with some other candidates, especially since right now Elizabeth Warren is the front. Please be Elizabeth Warren. Please be Elizabeth <laughs> Warren. <laughs> I want to see Please. the election between Donald Trump and Elizabeth Warren so badly. <laughs> yeah. Do you think she's the easiest out? Is that why? Or of is course. going to be hilarious. Yes, I do. Okay. I, I think, think it's going to be so hilarious easy. too, though. You guys, easy I want to hear what all of you think. Comment below well. and, and, and let me know. The reason why is Donald Trump doesn't really apologize. No, right? he doesn't walk no. it back, and he's already gone to Pocahontas. I know that's what I'm saying. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> so I'm very curious as to where he takes it from there. Yeah, yeah. Let's give you some context here. Lie number five, and this is a big one. The lie uh, that uh, Elizabeth Warren perpetuated out there that Bernie, Senator Sanders, said that a woman couldn't win the presidency. For people out there mm -hmm. who don't know, I think most of you do at this point. There was a story that that went out, and I remember I, I was sort of not reading a ton of news Christmas through New Year's and so I was coming yeah. back in. Right. I understand what it's like for you guys. It's tough to digest. It's like drinking from a fire hose. Yeah, it is. And so you read it and sometimes you assume, well, why would someone lie about that? <laughs> and then you realize, Chris Cuomo. Uh, you go, it makes uh, sense now. You yeah. connect the dots, right? Yeah. So the story out there, and it was on CNN, that's where I originally read it, and it was covered everywhere, was that Bernie Sanders um, told Elizabeth Warren or made a phone call and said that a, a woman couldn't win the presidency. There were no sources provided, by the way, no legitimate Never, sources. It was denied outright by the Sanders campaign, okay? Yeah. So I want to be clear to set that context. Claim, no corroboration, no source, denied by the Sanders campaign. And then the CNN moderators pulled this move live with Bernie Sanders. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, pretty clear. What did you think when Senator Sandu Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I disagreed. Uh, I don't. I never oh thought I would God. wish that Bernie Sanders wow. just had a back pocket full of anthrax. Just <laughs> 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 so, and this is important. Too, after the debate, Elizabeth Warren uh, confronted Bernie, and this seems so staged. Because CNN recorded it, but they yeah. had the right camera angle and the mic still yeah. going, uh, and then they aired this footage. On national TV? I think you called me a liar on national TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion? We'll have that Any discussion. You called me. You told me. All right, let's not do it now. <laughs> Listen. That's classy. Hats yes. off to Bernie for that one, right? It's yes. just me. Let's give a round of applause yes. for that one. It's yeah. the only one we will. I don't. Here's the thing. I think that he's wrong, but I do think there's a he. He's he's a godless man who's trying to do the right thing. Now, in his mind, the right thing involves killing babies and, and stealing people's money. I get that. True. Yeah. But he did try and take the high road right. yeah. there, yeah. which yeah. I appreciate. He's trying to dodge what's obviously an attack. But just think of that rule. Think, think of that rule according to Warren. You know, they yeah. just made up something that's an indictment on someone's character, and when he corrects the record, he's accusing her of being a liar. Right. Oh, and of course, awesome. again, he, he, he claims that he's never said that. I believe him. Lest you think that I have no reason or context to believe that Bernie Sanders has a track record of saying that a woman could be president. The real issue is not whether you're black or white, whether you're a woman or a man. In my view, a woman could be elected president of the United States. The real issue is whose side are you on? Again, I don't like Bernie Sanders, no. but I do appreciate truth. Can we say right there? I yeah. think a woman can become president. Yeah. And also, he looks like the scientist in a weird Nickelodeon yeah. show he, that should be the, for a kid. Like, <laughs> it'll go through evaporation, precipitation, condensation, sh can I take another take? Precipitation, <laughs> it rains. <laughs> and, and by the way, this is something else that really bothered me with Elizabeth Warren. They were, after this, some people were coming out uh, accusing Bernie Sanders of being as bad as the Me Too rapist crowd, the rapist what? defender wow. crowd. Yeah, uh -huh. so a, a prolific and well-respected wow. journalist, and, and I hate this because sometimes you'll get this on, even on CNN or shows like the Young Turks or like Trevor Noah, they'll be, people, and they bring up a tweet from some random person. Yeah, it's like, exactly. that's an Everybody. egg with two followers and it's just two other eggs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it wouldn't even be it's half of a half carton of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, journalist writes for a place, Washington Post, New York Times, 
GQ, Gentlemen's Quarterly for yeah. the Uninitiated. Wow. Uh, Julia Loff, she tweeted, I want to make sure I get it correct, uh, still thinking about the Warren-Bernie squabble, and I have a question to people who have accused Warren of lying. Isn't the lesson of hashtag me too in the last few years that we believe women and don't call them liars? <laughs> wow. I thought the lesson, which by the way, was ill-founded, was that we always believe women who make accusation, uh, accusations of rape, and I don't believe that, but now you're saying we have yeah. to believe all women on Everything? Now yes. we've, extra we've, we've expanded that from rape culture, which isn't a real thing, right. to anything a woman says ever. Yeah. Wow. That is so disturbing. Yeah, and she, she writes this, by the way, for GQ, Gentlemen's Quarterly. I am stunned <laughs> to yeah. find out that your subscriptions are shrinking. Wow. <laughs> that an angry feminist known. is writing for gentle, hey, what's in this uh, week's uh, edition, month's edition of GQ, is it? How to wear suits, how to pull off a skinny tie, no wait, men are pieces of shit. Pieces of shit, pieces of shit, pieces huh. of shit. And there's an ad for Armani Cologne. That's oh, about yeah. it. I mean, my quarterly ass kicking for being a man. I'll read this magazine. Gosh. GQ. That's what ge gentlemen want to yeah. read <laughs> <laughs> about all men being liars. Uh, okay. You know. So that's lie number five. Let's look at uh, Elizabeth Warren's uh, track record on the truth, uh, kind of outside of Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Number four. This one was a big one. A lot of people may have forgotten about this. I she did. claimed that she was fired for being pregnant. Hmm. Yeah. So My she. My contract was renewed go. for the next year, and I was all set to go. Um, but um, I was pregnant at the time. wasn't showing yet. Uh, about two months later, when I was visibly pregnant, about six months along, um, the principal called me in and said um, that. He wished me luck, but he'd be more comfortable having someone else in that job, and he was going to hire someone else for the job. And um, that was it. I lost my job. A component mm -hmm. of that may be true in that uh, I, too, would be comfortable hiring <laughs> someone else, but it has nothing to do with no. the fact yeah. that you are with child. No, it's no, just you. I, too, would be more comfortable you. with yeah. anyone else, and it has nothing to do with your miracle of creating life. <laughs> School records, here's important, they show, by the way, that not only was her contract unanimously renewed, she was not fired, um, she resigned. That's different. Yeah, uh, she resigned. <laughs> That's what happened. Almost contradictory. Huh. Yeah. Right. Almost I just want to make clear, I just want to let that ride, because sometimes job. if you talk, oh, people like, wait, no, no. She wasn't fired. She resigned. <laughs> Unless you think that these former employers are lying, it actually tends to match up with the unofficial testimony of, you guessed it. I worked, it was in a public school system, but I worked with the, the children with disabilities. And um, I did that for a year. And then that summer, uh, I, I actually didn't have the education courses, so I was on an emergency certificate, it was mm -hmm. called. And I went back to graduate school and took a couple of courses in education and said, I don't think this is going to work out for me. Mm. Mm. And I was pregnant with my first baby. So I had a baby uh, and stayed home for a couple of years. First off, but she looks older back then. She, I know. She, wow. It's incredible. Is it, is it, is it Benjamin camera. Button week? <laughs> what happened? It's, it's terrible when you rebut yourself. I have yeah. no idea. Imagine being wow. the person who uh, who has. Anyway, I don't want to. I, I can't get in any. She's unattractive. So yeah, watch out the guidelines, man. I think I can say that because it's not a definitive claim. Sure, it's not. more opinionative. It is. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Subject. I find you repulsive, but not everyone. <laughs> not everyone. Yeah. Not inherently. Keep we just, have some people yes. in the studio here who, you know, take what they can get. <laughs> uh, by the way, speaking who is of. That? Threading the needle carefully, which we will not do. Uh, hit the <laughs> notification bell if you are on YouTube. Hit all notifications because apparently yes. there's another step right now. You gotta hit the, the bell, and step. then there's gonna say all. You want to go to all so you can get all, all the notifications. Get the stream. Good make Lord, sure you're yeah. here because you don't get the live stream if you don't hit all. Ah, uh, okay. So. And uh, of course, we have new videos that go up every day. Is it eight oh, yeah. or nine Eastern? I'm eight. not even gonna guess. Okay, nine eight. Eastern. Gonna guess. Uh, and of course, that's why we do uh -huh. ask that you join Mug Club. Ladderwithcutter.com slash Mug Club. There's a lot more content there. The entire blade catalog because these rules keep changing. That's how we stay in touch with you. Lie number three, um, she claimed that her children attended public schools. There needs to be a little bit of context here. A woman told Elizabeth Warren that um, their children had different opportunities because uh, Warren's children probably went to private schools and yeah. Elizabeth Warren immediately mm -hmm. corrected her saying that they attended public schools. 
We're going to have the same choice that you make for your kids because I read that your children went to private school. I want to public school. Uh, okay. Oh, that's, yeah. Now that seems pretty Whoa. cut and dry. Yeah, it does. does. Meaning a lie. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you know this about John Edwards. Actually, my wife had read the, the, the book. I don't know how many books are on John Edwards. It seems to me once you get to the point where he's... Uh, making a sex tape with a pregnant lady while his wife has cancer in the hospital, you close the book and go, oh, right. he's the villain. <laughs> Done. Yeah, you'd think. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Spoiler yeah. alert! Yeah. Big reveal. <laughs> but he used to buy, like, Armani suits. Like, expensive Armani, Versace, yeah. Hugo Boss, Ketone suits. And then he would take out the tag and sew in J.C. Penney. Really? Yes. Uh, he would oh do that because gosh. he wanted to seem like he was of the people. This is what uh. the Democrats do. It's like the fake rappers getting shot in the face stories to have street cred. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like you. Their kids went to public schools. Look, he shops at JCP. <laughs> I don't think they call it's it a that. man of the people. But I don't understand this. Why is it bad if your kids went to a private school? Yeah, right. Why is it bad to wear an Armani suit? At least President Trump kind of owns it. He's the one guy who's like, yes. he goes out there and says, I'm really rich oh. and the middle class needs some help. That You can have he both things. Den- he couldn't totally deny fine. it at this point, though. No, I don't think he could deny it. <laughs> Way too far past if that. If anything, yeah. he embell- embellished it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I will yeah. be the first trillionaire and by will be mean am, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so her, her kids did go to uh, public school for like a semester. I couldn't find out how long, but for the majority of their school careers, they Just went to private enough. schools with tuitions ranging from 17000 to $40,000 a year. All right, line number two. Uh, she claimed that she was too poor to afford college. Now, yeah. this is important because, again, it doesn't match up with her other claims. Very Joe Biden-esque with this. Uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Warren claimed that college wasn't affordable in her day and that her parents couldn't afford a college application, let alone putting her through college. By the time I graduated from high school, my folks couldn't afford a college application, much less to send me off to four years at a university. So like a lot of Americans, I don't have a straight path story. She said I don't have a straight hmm. pants story? I don't know. Path story. I don't know what that straight is. Pants. I thought she was talking about boot cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, more, yeah. Is that straight cut back now, then? Now, here's, here's the truth. Her, her parents didn't put her through college because right. she went to George Washington University on a scholarship. Dropped out of college to get married. Ended up going to another public college for $50 a semester, mm. which she herself <laughs> tweeted out, I want to make sure I get this right, so I go to my non-prompter. Don't you love this iPad tech? Uh, I got my thing. degree thanks to a, a quality public college where tuition was just $50 a semester. That kind of opportunity doesn't exist for students today. Mm. Again, mm. I don't care that she got a scholarship. I don't care that she went to a community college. I I think that's actually a good point that $50 a semester, there's a way to make certain colleges affordable. But the problem is we have two contradicting narratives here. First, you have the one where she was a poor child. She was just a poor black child who couldn't afford college. (laughs) Then you have the second, that it was so easy in her day to go to college because it was so cheap as opposed to today. And it depends on who she's talking to and what bill of goods she needs to sell. And that's what bothers me. Okay, and line number one, I think you could have seen this coming. I'm sorry, I get it. But actually we did a whole segment on this and we had to remove it because I was wearing the socialism yes, big shirt did. from YouTube. Uh, Don't even say Asian it. Bill knows that, but it's available at Mud Club. So it's a little more in depth. And Jimmy Norton is coming up after this, oh, who's so. in The Irishman. We'll be talking about uh, the film Ooh, being yeah, nominated yeah. for mm-hmm. the Academy Award. Line number one, her, do I? What's the word? Indian? Mm. It, it's something uh, a, lo- a lot like that. Let's go with Redskins. Yes. Yes. Redskin heritage. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jeez. Native American. Unless and you banned. think Indian is offensive, no. wait till you see the clip. Oh. Yeah. And then I have uh, I have a microfiber cloth for the egg on your face. She's yeah, repeatedly yeah. used the supposed supposed uh, street cred of being Native American as a talking point and just as a refresher on the campaign trail. My father's parents said, absolutely not. You can't marry her because she's part Cherokee and she's part Delaware. My papa had high cheekbones like all of the Indians do. (gasps) Oh, she said it, not me. Oh, she was so glad to have high cheekbones. Which I I mean, how many? They all have high cheekbones. Every one of them? All of them? (laughs) All of them? And no one else. Apparently, yeah. no one yeah. in the entire no no one is None of the Scandinavian bones. countries. <laughs> and by the way, she didn't just dabble and like, oh, I'm part Native American. She wrote a cookbook about it. Uh, she went out. Th- she was taught. She was speaking on How reservations. She's not. She's not the DNA test that she took to prove, which is remarkable to me. This just shows you the ego on these people. Like, someone should have advised her this was a bad idea. She took a DNA test to prove that she was Indian, her words, not mine, and it actually showed that she may have less Indian blood than your average non-Indian American. 
Oh. <laughs> a oh. whopping wow. one in 1,024th huh. native. By the way, for reference, here's my 23 in me. I am about as much sub-Saharan African Yo, bro. <laughs> as she is Indian. My dog, man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, these guys are bonding. It's awesome. It's so cute. Imagine if I went out in this show and I just started dropping N-bombs. And I was like, that's it. And I wrote a book about the, the plight of black so Americans, food. the history of slavery. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Here's my 23 in me. <laughs> Oh it sounds absurd. It is exactly the same. The percentage is entirely comparable. Here's what's really sinister about it, though. Not that someone lied about their heritage. That's kind of crappy, but, you know, maybe you do it at dinner parties to make yourself interesting once the conversation sort of reached its end with the reverse aging gimmick. Here's the deal. <laughs> she has claimed repeatedly that even though she's part Indian, Native American, she's never benefited. She's never oh, used it. Yeah. I never used my family tree to get a break or get ahead. <laughs> I never used it to advance my career. Hmm. Question. The book deal, powwow chow. <laughs> Any of those. Does that apply? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Was that advanced? No, just no. a figment of our imagination? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because she, she actually had to give the advance back because the book sold so poorly. Oh, okay. Uh, that's yeah, right. Technically, no. she actually, can write Actually, I don't that know if off. it sold or not, yeah. but I just assumed it did. It had back. nothing to do with yeah. it. That's because she was a woman. <laughs> oh. So oh. She'll never win. Yeah. That's exactly. You're either Bernie, J.K. Rowling. said, right? Or you're not. Or no one's reading you. And even now, no one's reading you because of gender bending. So what was it? term turf anyway that happened during the break i don't want to get into nope. it nope <laughs> skip, it. Don't go there. skip it but here's the thing not Danger. only did she sell a native american cookbook um she used her native american identity to land a teaching job at harvard Ooh. Oh. Hmm. and their law review i have a lawyer here hailed her as being the first woman of color hired there <laughs> oh, getting a little my. loose with the terminology aren't we harvard yeah. and i think this is important because we know people will say well donald trump lies Granted, he does. Okay, no one is perfect. But the difference here is that, and this is just my opinion, and I want to hear what you think, Donald Trump exaggerates actions. Yeah. Right? Donald Trump, what he has a tendency to do, there's a difference between lying, like a sinister lie, and being a bit of a bullshit artist. Yeah. Right? And anyone who's ever worked in sales, I mean, you know that. You're selling a car, this is the best car mm -hmm, on right. the lot. Yeah. Right? This you is there's kind of, it's a stereotype car. for a reason. He will exaggerate, right, the, the, the length of his successes. And then he'll diminish maybe the depths of his failures. Right? right so Donald yeah. Trump, yeah, I get it. In other words, he might be worth three billion, uh, worth seven billion. Okay, no, excuse me, seven billion. Like, well, hold on a second, the Deutsche Bank, it says you're worth three billion. They are fake news. They're not a news outlet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just a Jewish accountant named Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll diminish, you know, like Donald Trump may have been an, a good athlete in school, but he goes, I was the best athlete in school, right, yeah. okay? Rudy wishes he were me. <laughs> And like Rudy wasn't even That's that good of an true, athlete yeah. Yeah, he because he wasn't me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he exaggerates actions and he'll diminish his failures. Maybe, hey, how many times have you filed bankrupt? Have you filed bankruptcy? Never. Well, okay, I get it. Your yeah. business has filed bankruptcy, not you personally. So I think that that is different. Uh, sort of exaggerating or maybe embellishing actions versus Elizabeth Warren, who misrepresents who she is. Yeah. Yeah. She misrepresents who she is as a person. Make no mistake, we all laughed at Rachel Dolezal. Remember mm -hmm. the, the fake black yeah. NAACP yeah. sideshow bob hair? Yeah. Yep. We all laughed. Yeah. <laughs> it's no different. It's no different than Good Elizabeth times. Warren. And yeah. here's the thing. Oh, this man. is so important. When people out there, when you read, you look at Vox, you look at BuzzFeed, you look at Salon, you look at CNN, and they say, your race, your gender, it is your identity. It defines who you are. That's very different from saying, hey, here's my pocketbook to, hey, this is who I I am. This yeah. is what, this is the makeup of my soul, and that is entirely a lie simply to pander for votes. That's more off putting to me. More off putting to me than saying, I could write a check for a billion dollars is someone lying about being Injun. <sighs> you know what's in here? It's just water. That's why they call it acting. You know what? It actually smells garlicky. There's something wrong with the water. I think it's going through the ice maker. We don't have, we don't have the baking soda in the fridge. If you like this video, uh, subscribe, hit notifications, or just check back every single day because we upload a new video every single day. And this was actually taken from the full show, a full hour show that we upload every single Thursday. Click that right now. Go watch the entire show. If you don't want to, you don't, you don't have to. But if you, if you stop by, you know, just don't bother me. I'm going to enjoy my garlic water.